Well, hello there. It's me, the Mossy Hill, back once again to give you our final starter evolution. Meet Aquamander. Yes, it's Salamander and Aqua. Yes, it's pre-evolution. Is Rainamander. Do I care? A teeny bit. So let's get into it. And uh, subscribe. Okay. Bye. <laughs> All right, you know the huge. I start with the outline, and Aquamander, I was actually very excited for. The final starter, and a, a pretty cool one at that. Aquamander is a great Pokemon. Now, I will say that this guy took a lot of inspiration from a lot of different, like, previously made real Pokemon a lot of animals this one was a really hard to make but i think he turned out great uh so working on the tail uh for his what is it for his uh silhouette it kind of looks like a squirrel tail which i just think is like the funniest thing ever and i can't really put my finger on why i think it's so funny i just think it's hilarious um, but we are already done with the outline per use and starting on, starting off with, or starting on the color. For his eye, it kind of looks like a target. I then added a, uh, shine in his pupil. The same coloration as Rain Amanda, almost to a T, which is, again, per use. Uh, what else is there to talk about? Well... He is a pretty awesome dude. I have, like, no lore for him. Like, at all. Like, you know how I usually have, like, a little bit of lore, but I really have nothing. And so the Pokedex doesn't, like, really... His Pokedex entries aren't really very fascinating to me. And that's because I didn't really have any lore for him. So I think that's the only downside. Also, I am going to be backlogging these episodes, so tomorrow... I'm going to make the entire insect line and then post them uh, periodically th throughout the day because I'm doing stuff and I don't have time. So the most I have time for is literally just to post it. So hope you guys are excited for my insect line because I'm excited for them. Uh, it's based off of the uh, Atlas Moth. But I won't give you too many spoilers because I want you guys to experience it on your own. We have the green belly. Uh, which was previously pink in my drawing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it was pink. I have the actual picture right here. I also changed, and I did this for all three of them, I changed how their feet, they originally had claws, because this wasn't... Well, I made this, like, a year ago. Almost exactly a year ago. Which is kind of crazy to me. I mean, I'm finally making these guys a reality after, like, a year. Most most of these I redraw or completely make new ideas for. But this guy, I decided, eh, he's cool enough to be one of my original drawings. Which is why he's colored in, actually. I decided to just leave them colorless so then I could choose the color on the spot. Which was just more stressful for me. But it was fun. And... I'm glad I did it, and I'm happy. And y'all should be too, because happiness is the key to life. Where did that tidbit of wisdom come from? I'm like, again, this is like really late, so I'm very tired. And when I'm tired, go wisdom. So, there's that. There's literally crickets outside. It's like... I'm trying to fill the empty space of me not talking. All right, so on we, we have been on the shading for a while, just doing the purple hand right now. Uh, I I feel like his shading was way too dark, but I'm kind of okay with it. It's like one of those shadings that like 
you do, but then you don't really like, but then you kind of have to commit to it, and o over time you start to like it. I should have made it more of like a U shape than I just did like a decreasing slide hill kind of thing for what I did with the shading. I'll fix it someday, probably in like a year. I have a lot of plans for this region, and I hope y'all are excited for it, because I definitely am. I also want to give a big shout out to Reed Inc. for not sponsoring this video, but just being a good friend. Reed, uh, if you're out there, buddy, watching this because you, you, you like to watch all my videos. Also, when I say if you like it, if you like this guy, tell me in the comments down below and then my video comments are turned off. Uh, that is not my fault. For some reason, for some of my videos, the comments just automatically get turned off and I haven't found a good way of turning them back on. So I'm sorry uh, if they are on for this video because I haven't posted it because I'm making the place over right now. Hopefully that was apparent. Then please tell me what y'all think in the comments down below. And now you see... Uh, he has a water boomerang, which is a big part of his story and stuff. I accidentally made the bubbles part of the water, which was not a good idea. So here I'm fitting it. I, I wanted to put it on his back, but I decided to just put it under his arm, kind of like a sword. But, you know, like it's Australia, so of course there's a boomerang. All right, on to the Pokedex. Let's go. Aquamander, the filter Pokemon. Aquama Aquamander uses its gigantic boomerang to splash into enemies. This Pokemon is a gentle giant that loves to eat dirt. <laughs> the stats is 95 HP, 105 attack, 165 defense, 95 special attack, 70 special defense, 75 speed the shiny is a pink axolotl color with the boomerang being a murky kind of marshy green and the silhouette is he's a big guy he's a big dude all right back to you regular caleb Well, wasn't that so much fun? What do you guys think of Aquamander? I think he is pretty cool. His water boomerang took me a while to figure out. Trust me, I have like three different drawings on this web uh, on Procreate that took me to learn that. So I'll see myself out. <laughs> fidget spinner all of the cool things in life fidget spinners money and puppets okay bye uh subscribe and like okay bye bye bye